everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to apply Jamberry wraps. Even though I am a nail polish user, I do occasionally like to indulge in wraps or gel polish because sometimes I know I won't have time throughout the week to change my nail polish. Or if I know I'm going to be doing something where I'm going to be very rough on my nails, like helping somebody move or doing home renovations or stuff like that. So I actually used to be a Jamberry consultant um, about four years ago before I really got into nail polish and this is what helped my nails grow. I am an ex nail biter. I used to heavily, heavily bite my nails and they were weak, they were thin, they, were, they would peel, they would chip and there's a lot of things that I use to help my nails get to the point they are right now. I actually just cut them down so these are not the longest I've had my nails, but I won't deny that using Jamberries is one of the things that really did help them grow. I also wanted to note that just by following the instructions that Jamberry provides, um, it will kind of help with the application, but I do a couple of little extra things, a couple of little tricks to help my application process and to help with the wear time of Jamberry. I have tried several brands of nail wraps, but Jamberry by far is my favorite nail wrap brand. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Jamberry, this is what the product comes in. It has a clear window and it'll tell you the style of each wrap. And they do come in different styles and different finishes, but I'm not really gonna go into much detail about that on this video. This does come with two sides of nine wraps and these are nine different sizes of wraps. Some of these larger sizes are meant to be used for your toes and then these are meant to be used for your fingers and you can fit two nails out of one of these wraps. So you would cut one of these in half and you get two nails per one of these wraps. So hypothetically, you're supposed to be able to get um, two manicures and two pedicures out of one of these sheets. And I believe these sheets cost about um, $15 a sheet. They are a little bit pricey, but they do have deals like buy three, um, get one free type of thing, or buy four, get one free. One of the things you will need in order to apply your nail wraps is some type of heat source. And the heat source that I'm gonna be using is this um, heater from Jamberry. So I did purchase this from Jamberry and the reason I like this is because it's actually really quiet and it doesn't produce, it doesn't get too hot. One thing you do want to be careful with this is this area right here is going to get a little warm because this is where the heat is going to come out of, but it's not going to get too overly hot so it's not going to overheat your room or overheat the area that you're working in. Other heat sources that you can use are blow dryers, you can use a hot iron, you can use a candle warmer, pretty much you can use any type of heat source but it's not recommended that you use anything with an open flame. The other two things that Jamberry recommends you use is a pair of scissors to cut down the nail wrap and some type of nail file to file off the excess wrap. In addition to these two tools, the other tools that I recommend using is a pair of nail clippers in case you have to reshape your wrap, a pair of tweezers to help apply and move around the wrap, some type of cuticle pusher to help push down the wrap, and then some type of nail prep. This is a pH balancer and a dehydrator that I like to use to prep my nails. And then this is a bottle of CND Sticky. It is a base coat that will help adhere your nail polish or in this case, the wrap to your nail. The last two items I have are optional items. You do not need to use these to get a very nice application, but this is these are things that I like to use to kind of help my manicure last a little bit longer. So this is just a buffing block and this is a shellac or gel top coat from CND. Again, these two are optional items. You do not need these to get a really nice application. First, I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my nails. Now, I've already gone in and filed my nails down and shaped them, so you do want to do that first. And then you wanna go in with a cuticle pusher and push back all of your cuticles and remove any excess cuticle. That way, the nail wrap doesn't adhere to the cuticle and it adheres to your nail only. 
After going in and pushing back your cuticle, this next step is optional, but you can lightly go in and buff away any of that cuticle or any unevenness on your nail. Then I like to go in with my pH balancer and dehydrator. This step is not necessary, simply wiping down your nail with some type of acetone or nail polish remover or alcohol, like rubbing alcohol will work. This will remove any excess oils that may be on your nail. I have really oily nail beds, so I I like using this product because it not only removes the oils but it helps control the oils from regenerating on my nails. And my last nail prep step is applying some type of sticky base coat. Again, there are several brands on the market for sticky base coats. The brand that I like to use is the CND Sticky or Orally Bonder. Next, you want to measure and cut out the wrap sizes that you're going to be using. It's a good idea to do this and have everything laid out before starting to apply your wraps. You can simply place the sheet of wraps over your nail and measure which nail wrap you want to use. The nice thing about these wraps is they do have a clear backing so you can see which nail wraps will fit on which finger. A tip to choosing a nice nail wrap size is you want to choose a wrap that is not too big. Actually want to choose a nail wrap that is slightly smaller than your nail because you don't want any of the wrap touching your skin. You only want the wrap to adhere to your nail. You can simply cut out the nail wrap that you want to use and then cut each nail wrap in half. Again, you can get two nails out of one wrap. I like to size, cut out, and lay all of my nail wraps out so I know which nail wrap goes on which finger. To apply the nail wrap, you're going to remove the plastic backing. I suggest using a pair of tweezers to do this. You do not want to use your fingers to touch the adhesive side of the nail wrap. After you removed the nail wrap from the clear backing, you want to place the nail wrap near a heat source and heat up for about five to 10 seconds. You know the nail wrap is ready to place onto the nail when it has become soft and flexible. Once the nail wrap has become soft and flexible, it's ready to apply onto the nail. What I like to do is I like to apply my nail wrap first onto the base of my nail, and then I like to push straight down the nail. Once I've pushed straight down the nail, I'll then go in with my cuticle pusher and push down the sides of the nail. Reapply heat to the wrap and continue pushing down the wrap onto the nail until you've seen that the entire nail wrap is laying completely flat on your nail. I'm then going to repeat this entire process with the remaining nails. Once you've applied your nail wrap, you can remove the excess wrap one of two ways. You can go in with a nail file and file away at a 90 degree angle. Or my preferred method is to trim up some of the excess and then go in with a nail file at a 90 degree angle. According to Jamberry application and instructions, once you've trimmed off the excess from your nails, this is the point at which you are finished with your manicure and you can wear these for approximately two weeks. You can shower with these, be as rough with these as you want, and they will supposedly last you two weeks. I do not find that that's the case with simply applying them and leaving them using the basic Jamberry instructions. So I like to take this one step further. The problem that I start to have is since I have curvy nails right around my edges, my 
wrap starts to lift and then I do start to get some lifting around the tips normally within three to four days of application. Like I said earlier in the video, these next two steps are completely optional. You do not have to do these steps. And unfortunately, it will change any finish that you have on your nail wraps. So if you have a satin or a matte finish, these next two steps are going to turn your nail wraps into a glossy finish. So keep that in mind. I'll first go in with a file fine grit buffing block. This is not going to damage the design. It's not going to damage the nail wrap. It's simply going to remove that really smooth layer on top of the nail wrap to prep for the next step. Once you have removed the top layer of the wrap, the shiny part of the wrap, You'll then go in with a very, very thin layer of top coat. I like to use shellac top coat. You can also use gel top coat. Jamberry also sells their own brand of gel top coat. I find that wearing a gel top coat or shellac top coat helps to protect the wrap. It creates essentially a seal around the wrap that'll help it last the two weeks or longer that it's supposed to last. Once you've cured the gel top coat or shellac top coat in the UV lamp, you can just go in with an alcohol wipe and remove the sticky layer. And here is your completed manicure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do. And don't forget to subscribe. I am currently posting three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.